Sora is finally here, the most anticipated AI tool in the last year, and I have access to it right now. It just rolled out today. It's available to everyone with a paid plan. I'm gonna jump in and show you exactly how to use it right now. Okay, so to access Sora, just go to Sora.com and you could go ahead and create an account. Right now, as I'm recording this, they're getting such a massive volume, they actually stopped the account creation process at this very moment. But hopefully by the time you're watching this, when I post it, you could go ahead and log in. And it's on Sora.com, it's not on the ChatGPT website, but you still use the same login, same email, same password to log in. And right now, you need a paid version of ChatGPT, either the Plus, which is $20 a month, or the Pro, which is $200 a month, but the Pro is unlimited usage of Sora. The Plus is limited to only 50 generations a month so it's a good reason to upgrade to pro if you're going to be a power user okay once you log in to Sora it's going to bring you to this page and I'm going to show you a few different things here so they have something called a feed where you could go ahead and explore the feed and this is your feed here and in their demo they talked about this is a place to kind of get inspired by other people's creation and if you click on any of these here you could actually go ahead and edit the prompt and then you could see the actual prompt here so you could create something very similar to this one. You could go ahead and also remix it and all kinds of different things that I'll show you here with a new generation. So this is just a cool place to see some examples here. There's realistic examples, there's animation examples, sci-fi. Okay, back here, this is where the generation takes place. So here's your prompt box down here and you could type in a single sentence text prompt down here to start generating. You could also upload an image. So if you like another image generation platform or any other type of image, you could go ahead and upload that. I'll show you this in a second. They have some preset options too. So by default it's set to none. So it's gonna use your prompt to figure out the type of style you want, but they have different styles available over here. So stop motion animation, for example, archival footage, film noir, to get that really contrasty black and white film here. I'll go ahead and type in a text prompt and I'll show you some of these other options as well. Okay, we'll start with this one. A serene beach at sunset with gentle waves and seagulls flying in the background. That's gonna be my text prompt. Then the next choice I wanna choose is under the aspect ratio, if I wanna create a YouTube style cinematic type of video, 16 by nine is what I want. But it's really nice that they have vertical type videos for TikTok, Instagram reels and things like that. Then you have your resolution. Now it's really slow right now just because it's getting bombarded as I'm making this video. It just got released within the hour. But this is the fastest, but typically if you're gonna use this to output to something, you want 1080p, which is grayed out for me right now. And you can see the higher the resolution, the slower the render is gonna be. So right now from what they said, 1080p takes about two minutes, but the 480p takes only five seconds. And then right here, you could change how long of a clip you wanna generate. This could go up to 20 seconds. In their demo, in the very beginning, nine months ago, they also said this could be a minute long, but in the release right now, 20 seconds is the maximum. But typically you want five, 10 second shots and you could assemble them together. And then over here, you could generate multiple videos in the same screen. So do you want just one? In this case, I'll just do one, but you could do a side by side and pick from the two. And then I'll show you that with another example. And let me go ahead and create the video from here. And then I'll show you the storyboard option, which is really interesting too. Okay, let me go to the storyboard option right now. And the storyboard option is a more advanced mode, but you could do a whole lot with it. My background is in filmmaking. I've had a production company for 15 years and I've worked as a cinematographer for quite a long time till just recently. So this option right here lets you basically tell stories in multiple actions. So it says storyboard is a tool to help you visualize the actions, sequences, and timing of your video. You can use photos, videos, and text to describe each shot along with a timeline. So video editing, typically you have a timeline and you tell your story in order. And this has the traditional timeline down here, which is what we typically use in video editing and storytelling. So in the very first part of it, here's your text prompt. So it says camera opens up on a serene beach based on my prompt that I just had. But then you could tell it where to go from there. A camera captures a close up of gentle waves as they break softly on the sand. So it's gonna go from this to this and then however many frames are in between, it's gonna fill in those seconds here automatically. If you wanna bring this closer though, you could bring it closer to this prompt and then you won't really have to think too much about what goes in the middle, or you could take it all the way to the end and it'll fill in everything that's in the middle here. Now this is only a five second generation, so the 20 second generation 
with these storyboards obviously will get a lot more interesting but this is right now a capacity so i'll have to show you that in a more detailed walkthrough this is just my initial video on sora just to show you a demonstration of exactly how this works and with these prompts by the way you could go ahead and expand this out and it'll just give it a whole lot more detail so it took that initial prompt and he expanded on it and if i go back to the previous page let me just go ahead and close this up here i'm going to discard this one i'll go back to this page and this time i'm going to go ahead and upload an image that i have now let me show you this media upload agreement because this has very strict copyright rules which is really good here so you have to be at least 18. It actually when you create an account it asks you if you're 18. you agree not to upload media containing violence you agree to not upload anything that you don't have the rights to use so this is very critical it's trying to get you not to replicate copyright material here or build on copyright material so i'm assuming if you break this you will get suspended most likely from using sora and it says media containing people your plan does not currently support creating videos and uploading media containing people if you upload a photo or video that contains people in the video it will fail to generate so that's interesting it says any people so that's not going to be useful for a lot of different things as far as uploading media because sometimes i may want to create a character in a different app and upload that image but i guess you can't do that here so i won't try that as an example here's an image i generated with another app midjourney i'm going to use this as an example this is from a little short film we're creating and i'm going to keep all the settings the same this time as well in this case let's do two different variations and i'll send this out too now, once your video get generated, if you go to the all videos tab, all of them will appear over here. And as this gets more populated, they have filtering on top. So you can see different things by filter and they have different layouts too. So they got a list view, the grid view, you could look by aspect ratio and this is the little notification. So when things do finish up, they'll appear over here right now. It's not letting me create any of the <laughs> prompts I've given it just because it's at capacity right now, but I'll try to add those in the video if they get finished by the time I finish up this video. Now I'll jump back to the Sora blog post on OpenAI just to point out some of the things that they mentioned over here that I think are worth a look over here. So because with Sora, some of the things I haven't been able to show you because it's not generating is you could actually replace, remove and reimagine videos that you generate. So they actually in their demo created this video and then in the prompt, they asked it to change all the mammoth that you see over here into robots. And he did a really good job reimagining the whole scene, but he kept everything about the same. They also showed how to recut scenes. So that was a really interesting way where you could choose the best frames and then extend from that point forward. The storyboard option that I showed you, you could basically create different prompts in a sequence and try to tell an entire story this way using that storyboard option. So this is very powerful, especially if you've used any editing apps before. This is a really good way to generate images based on an editing type of a sequence timeline. Now, let me show you the pricing in a little bit more detail on what it includes because the ChatGPT Pro, this $200 a month membership, seemed really expensive, but now you have unlimited generations of Sora, right? So you have the O1 model, a newer O1 model that's even better than the O1 model you get with this one, unlimited usage of that. With the Sora unlimited version, it's gonna give you relaxed videos, meaning they're gonna be much slower than your normal generation when you get to unlimited, but you have 500 priority videos when you're using the fast generation. So this is incredible actually value for this because I've been paying for some of these tools, they're very expensive, but this gives you, this ChatGPT Pro membership is not just for Sora, for people like me, Sora for $200 a month actually for unlimited even makes sense. But the fact that you get a ton of other things coming with it, that's really well worth it. It removes the watermark obviously. And the $20 membership, I feel like this is very low. This is only 50 videos a month. That's very low, right, for this $20. Obviously with ChatGPT Plus, you get a bunch of other stuff, but for Sora, this is very limited for me if I'm trying to make a real project. I think if I try to make a real project, short film commercial out of this, 50 videos is not even gonna get me through that one project. So I will most likely have to upgrade. But again, this is for pro users. This is for just regular users that wanna test it out. And it looks like I'm still at capacity. It's been a little while now and it's not letting me generate. So I'll have to do a full walkthrough 
where I could show you a ton of examples. As I get more access, I'll make a bunch of different examples and I'll make a dedicated video showing you a bunch of different things, including remixing and some of these other options. But I just wanted to break the news here to show you Sora, show you this available, some of the options that you have right now so you could jump right in. And with someone from the filmmaking background, I think this is one of the most exciting things that come to the world of AI. And at the same time, one of the most scary and concerning things but the more I start using these AI tools, the more I see them as tools and not a replacement. So I think this just opens up more possibilities for storytelling. But right now, independent films could be a million to $3 million, right? Hollywood movies are north of $100 million to make. So a lot of people are not gonna have ability to tell stories. This is gonna give so many new people at $200 a month with unlimited generation to tell all kinds of new stories in very unique ways. Some of the options you have inside of here are just not even possible with even advanced VFX that only Hollywood studios have access to. So I'm really excited to dive in and see what this could get me. I have a lot of stories, a lot of scripts that I was never able to make and this makes a lot of that possible. And as always with a new powerful tools, I'll make a dedicated course. So we have an entire course platform, Skill Leap AI where we have over 20 courses, me and other instructors, and we release new courses all the time. And since this is one of the most iconic AI apps to come out in the world of AI, I'll be sure to make the course a priority so I could roll it out as soon as we can. I'll link that in the description. That one also gives you access to 20 other courses, a community, all kinds of resources. So it's an affordable AI education platform. Thanks so much for watching this video and I will see you on the next one.